Two New York City police officers were shot and killed in their park patrol car on Saturday afternoon. According to New York City Police Commissioner William J. Bratton, the officers were shot execution style. According to Bratton, the attacker approached the officer's vehicle from the passenger side and opened fire. The policemen Wen Jin Lu and Rafael Ramos did not have time to draw their weapons. The suspect, identified as Ishmael Brinsley, then fled to a nearby subway station where he was found dead of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. While police are still searching for a motive, Bratton revealed that earlier on Saturday, Brinsley shot and injured his former girlfriend. Police plan to search his social media for more information. Many people took to Twitter to express their condolences to the families of the victims. New York Senator Chuck Schumer tweeted, We cannot tolerate such attacks on New York's finest, while Al Sharpton joined in by offering condolences to the family. This shooting comes at a time when police across the nation are being criticized for their tactics following widely publicized deaths of unarmed black men, including the chokehold death of Eric Garner in New York City. That criticism has sparked protests throughout the country. While most of them, especially those in New York, have been peaceful, the NYPD remains alert. New York Mayor Bill de Blasio said that this particular attack was an attack on all New Yorkers. But de Blasio's relationship with certain police officers has been rocky recently over what they see as his lack of support. A major New York City police union, the Sergeant's Benevolent Association, went so far as to blame the mayor for the shootings, tweeting, the blood of two executed police officers is on the hands of Mayor de Blasio. The last time an NYPD officer was shot to death in the line of duty was back in 2011.